Hey y'all, my name is Teresa Roberts Logan and I'm a Posh Coloring Studio artist and I'm the author of two coloring books, Posh Coloring Mandalas and Posh Coloring Paisleys. And what I'm here to do is get you started on watercolor pencils. You can do a whole lot of things with watercolor pencils and we wanna show you some of them. The first thing we're gonna do is dry on dry. And I'm just gonna start coloring in a little bit here. And I'm only gonna color about halfway. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I'm using watercolor pencils and not regular color pencils. The difference is I can take water now and play with this a little bit. And then watch what I can do. And it's take this color and just start smearing it around and then bringing it out to the edges. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this same color and in another section of this, I'm gonna use a sponge. So take a piece of paper and you just kinda color a little pile of it here like this. So you do that, but to transfer it to this, you can't take a sponge and just touch on the dry. You have to make it a watercolor medium now. Now you see it's a pile of wet watercolor, which is perfect, that's what we want. And you just take your sponge and you just do this. Now if you can see that close up, what you're getting is like a really cool texture. And you know how long it would have taken me to paint that? A very long time. But you can take a tiny little sponge and get this amazing little texture. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is show you something really interesting. And that's in the way of watercolor when you wanna do dry on wet. And that's putting water down with nothing in it. Now what I'm gonna do is take my brush and I'm gonna swirl it around in the water and make sure there's no pigment in it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put water down on it. Now before I give that water a chance to dry, which is usually the goal, but not when you're doing dry on wet, take a dry pencil and then just start coloring through that. And you can feel it and you can kind of see it, what's going on. Like when you see to, my, to the right of my hand, like it's a little harder, and then when I get over in here, it gets sort of blobby and mushy. You can almost feel that, and I'm excited for you to do this because you'll feel it when you're doing it. You can feel the water sort of melting it. And then when you drag it back across the paper, you see it's a harder edge over there. Okay, y'all, we've waited a few minutes, and now the little texture we did with the sponge, the first layer, is completely dry. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you what it might look like to add a little more of another layer of sponge texture to that. Again, it's dry pencil, and then you take a little bit of water with your brush and smear it around. And you want it wet enough so that there's water sitting on the surface. That's something that if you just wet it to where you can smear it around, it's probably not gonna be wet enough. You need it wet enough that it's something you can dip a sponge into and come away with something. I'm gonna dip that in and come right back over here. And you see it starts giving it more color. And I'm gonna say right now, don't get all upset about coloring inside the lines. Almost everything you can do with watercolor pencil, you can fix. So the next thing, while this is drying, I wanna show you is wax resist. And it sounds very technical. It's basically, you know when you were a little kid and you used to color with like yellow or white crayons and paint on top and all the paint bleeds away from there and just reveals the white or the yellow? That's what we're doing. Only now they make these really fun little just wax crayons. You can use a wax candle to do this too. So what I'm gonna do on this one is, I'm gonna start over here with a little background over here. Let's give this background a little texture. Um, I'm going to draw a little checkerboard shape. You'll see, I'm just doing crisscross lines, okay? And then, that's right there, I don't need to do anything. Then I'm gonna make the palette over here again so I have paint to dip. I'm gonna take some of this, dip it into that, and then I come over here and start painting. And it gives you this really nice pattern. But what I wanna show you right now is something really kinda of weird that even a lot of artists don't know about. And it's mixing salt with watercolor to get a really interesting texture. So again, I'm making this little palette over here. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a good amount of water in here. I'm gonna come over to this leaf right here. And then you just sprinkle salt on top of the still wet paint. You see what just happened? Don't do anything with this until it's completely, completely dry. Even if it's damp, a little bit damp, and you try to shake the salt off or wipe the salt off, it can affect the look. Okay, so now that the salt is completely dry, what I'm gonna do is, if you look at the page, you see this is the area where we did sponge, and this is the area where we did salt. So I'm just now gonna wipe that away, and you can just take your fingers and do that. Now and then I'll pick up a cloth and go over there and just keep wiping it until all the salt is gone. If you look very close at this, you've got a really neat texture like nothing else that's on the page in any of these other techniques. So I hope you've had fun. I hope these techniques will teach you something that you'll, you can use and give your pieces depth. And just go to town and layer things and have fun. And don't worry about things being perfect, please. Just have a great time and enjoy the process. And I hope these techniques will give you things that you can use and you can do a little more in the time that you have.